Brooklyn is one of the most populous cities in New York State, characterized by its cultural diversity playing a key role in American art in literature, film, theater, and this could not be different in music. That's where Tom Smith, 53, guitarist from the Mary Janes comes from. Tom tells us that he had a great childhood. Sometimes I hear details of people who feel that their childhood was really difficult, and these things that happened to me too. However, I think I have a tendency to focus on positive things, he emphasizes. At that time the artist appreciated sports, preferably American football and also liked to draw. In my street lived a dozen boys, so there were kids playing in the street all the time, he says. Tom comments that his teenage years were hard, but could have been worse. Things were better, then I discovered the music and the marijuana. He adds. At that time he played bass and guitar as long as possible. His charm for music began when he was 13 years old. I put my hands on a bass for the first time, it belonged to a friend of my father's, I hardly even gave it back. He says. The artist says he should have had singing lessons, but he did not need to sing until he switched to guitar. I love to sing now, but I have no disillusionment about my level of vocal ability, he says. For this reason Tom adds that he greatly appreciates professional interpreters. Soon after high school the artist was not very busy, so he trained music from 12 to 18 hours a day, currently this has been a few hours a week. According to Tom, the only help he had from his parents was the buying of the amplifier for his bass, only. At the beginning of his career as a musician the greatest difficulty was to take the necessary equipment to perform with his bass. I did not have a car so I had to pull my bass and amplifier about 40 blocks down the road, sometimes I had to take a bus or subway to New York with all the equipment, he adds. The artist took classes of bass, guitar, and history of music in the school with the teacher Dal Florian, approximately 12 hours classes. However, more talented than he and patience, his friends had helped him, taught him, letting him play along with them and answering a hundred doubts he had, as Tom reports. To buy his instruments, the artist tells us that at 14 he worked in a restaurant and a supermarket on the summer holidays. Asked about the reason for choosing bass as the first instrument, the artist reports that it became good on bass and this was fast. It was just looking for people older and better than me. I had a boost in my skills with the instrument, I felt enthusiastic, he points out. The artists who inspire him are, Jerry Garcia, Frank Zappa, Derek Trucks, Lay Claypool, Yorma Kakanen, Jack Cassidy, Phil Lesh, Jack Bruce, Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, Dweezil Zappa. Tom's first show was at a birthday party on Staten Island in New York City in the summer of 1977. On that occasion he did not get paid. According to the artist the experience was easier than he thought. However, he had an unrealistic expectation that he would play something more with some girl. It did not happen, he laments. Besides being a musician, Tom is also a composer. The artist reports that he began to write some short riffs between the years of 1976 and 1977. His sources of inspiration are, life, people around him and his musical forerunners. His first creation was the song Come Slowly, written around 1978. There are no recordings of the song, however the artist still knows the lyrics and melody. His process of conception often begins with melody, and then comes the lyrics. The lyrics are the hardest part for me, when the verses come before the melody the process becomes much faster and easier, he reveals. Tom currently has two drum recording programs that implemented his creative process. The artist also participated in some musical collaboration, however, they were not recorded. Among his favorite creations is the song I Got This Feeling, recorded by his band The Mary Janes which is on the 2015 CD, as well as I Got This Feeling, also on the album are the songs, A Thing, Piggy Boy, Whatever Happened To My Money, The End Is Near, Walk Outside, Happy Birthday, Not Your Birthday, Let It And God's Country. 
At the top of his career the band used to play from 4 to 6 shows per month. In addition to Tom the group consists of his wife Susan Jane Smith who plays bass and his friend Myron Hammontree on the drums. Concerning the difficulties in the musical career, the artist reports that the main thing is that the venues pay the same as they paid in the years of 1970, and comments this is the main reason of not doing more shows out. When you play in a bar, you're just playing for beer, to make some money you have to sell CDs or t-shirts, that's not why I trained for several hours all those years, he says. For Tom the songs come through him and not from him, that is, he is just a vehicle. The ideas I get mean something to other persons, he comments. The artist finds it interesting that he does not make any money by playing at bars to himself, but he has gotten to raise a few hundred dollars by doing charity shows to help friends in need. About the complexity of the world Tom emphasizes that bad news is extremely widespread in the media and good news is completely ignored. The world is not as complex and evil as we have said, find a person and look into their eyes, this is the world in its most basic reality, he points out. About his expectations of the world, Tom is quite objective, the world will continue after my departure. Asked about what makes him angry and what makes him happy, the artist emphasizes that he has given up about irritation, and he is happy with new songs, with the laughter of his children and watching people get better in the mood to hear him play. To learn more about the work of Tom Smith and his band The Mary Janes Visit, The Mary Janes Official Website, YouTube, and Spotify. By Zell Florizel. You can find more indie artists' histories on zellflorizel.blogspot.com.